today I'm going to talk about how to upgrade software images on HP devices or HP switches. So there are three types of software images, uh, boot ROM image, boot image, system image. So uh, boot ROM image, a being that comprises a basic section and an, an extension section. The basic section is the minimum code that bootstraps the system. The extended section enables hardware initialization, initialization and provides system management menus. You can use these menus to load software in the startup configuration file or manage files when the switch cannot correct correctly start up. Um, boot ROM image, this is um, automatically uh, installed when you are actually, uh, when you have this uh, .ip file. So when you uh, use, as, as it says here, the dot IP file, uh, the system uh, automatically decompresses the file, loads the dot bin boot, boot and system images in the file and sets them as startup software images. Typically, the boot ROM and software images for this switch series, uh, this is, I actually got this from a uh, release release note release notes of a uh, switch. So typically uh, the file name is that IP file. I mean uh, main that IP file. Main that IP. So uh, when you uh, when you set uh, the, the boot and uh, system images as the startup images and you reboot the, uh, the, the soft the switch and you don't actually uh, update your boot ROM image, uh, the switch uh, will automatically uh, install the boot ROM image. So let me go back and read the definition of boot image. Um, a bin, a dot bin file that contains the operating system kernel. It provides process management, memory management, file system management, and the emergency emergency shell. The dot bin file system image a dot bin file that contains the minimum modules required for device operation and some basic features including device management, interface management, configuration management, and routing management. The software images that have been loaded are called current uh, software images. The software images specified to load at next startup are called startup software images. So this is the actual software convention name or name format. So this is a, a boot image file and this is a system uh, image file. How can I tell? Uh, because th this file here, it has boot, this boot here, the word boot in it and here system in it. So this is the, as it says here, this is the chassis model and this is the Comware version. And this is the image type, this one. So here, this is, a, this is the boot image and this is the system image. And, and this is the release. And by the way, in this uh, video, I'm not gonna show you how to uh, install a, a image on a device 
like I'm not gonna show you uh, the uh, the whole process, but because uh, I'm just using this software here, uh, the HP uh, Comware Lab software. I'm just gonna show you the commands on how to do it and the verification. So upgrading software procedure. Let me just uh, fix this. Download, so first, <clears throat> step one, download the upgrade uh, software image file and copy it to the device and always refer to the release notes. So, so we should, you should always re uh, refer to the release notes before upgrading, upgrading the software image. And you should always, uh, you know, console into the device and get the. This is before you actually uh, upgrade the the software image. You should get the product number. In, the, in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, product number. And so you can get this product number by doing a display device man, uh, man, yeah, menu info on the switch and go to this link here so this is uh, already opened uh, find my software section and search the product number so let me actually show you Let me just open that link. So it says here, my software section and search the product number. So I'm gonna get the product number. You don't, by the way, you don't have to log in to, this, to the HP uh, website. Just search for the product number. So so let me show you the this, uh, I've got this uh, topology here. So you can get the product number by doing a sh display device menu info. So this is just a uh, so this is just a software that I'm using so you when you do that command here, device name, uh, this just says here the device name, but not the, the product number. But on a real device, you will actually see the product number. So let me go back here. So the searching is done. So you, uh, once searching is done, you will see the following. Click on the more than sign. So you have to click on this sign here. And then um, uh, you can decide whether to get the the, the latest uh, version uh, of the image. So you can see that this is the you know the version, the build date, posted date, and this 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 is the release notes, um, and this is the size of the file or the image, and then select. When you download the, when you click this download button here, it will give you the, uh, you you it it comes with the release notes, and the uh, the uh, image file. I'm not gonna download it because uh, I'm not gonna I, I can't use it anyway. But this is this is the download button. So. Um, next is uh, from the TFTP server or computer where you downloaded the software. Install the software below, depending on which uh, uh, on which bit your Windows OS is using. So it could be 32 or 64 bits. So this is the um, the application or software that you need to install on the uh, on the computer, and 
you need to establish a layer three connectivity between the you know the TFTP server and the switch that you are going to upgrade. Or the uh, the uh, image that the, the the device or switch that has the image that you had that you are going to upgrade, and this is the uh, procedure of the uh, on how you can download a, a an image from a server. So so let me just uh, oops. So one is um, download a file from a TFTP server, for example, the server at. So in this case, the server has an IP address of 10.10.110.1. So uh, your switch has to be on that subnet also. So one is run a TFTP server pro program on the server. Uh, it could be a a computer, like I said, specify the working directory and copy the file, for example, newest.ip to the root uh, directory. So it, it, has, it has to be the root directory. On the fabric, on the IRF fabric, uh, it's just assuming here that this, uh, the switch that we are upgrading is, um, has IRF fabric enabled. Execute the TFTP command in user view to download the file to the root directory of the flash memory on the master switch. So this is the this is how you can, or this is the command to use the the TFTP uh, option. So TFTP the IP address get and the uh, image file. So once it is downloaded, you can actually go to the, you can verify it by doing a DIR. So it will be, that file would be uh, saved in this directory. And so th that is the, that, that is just step one. So step two, um, this is the command that you need to use uh, to, configure the boot loader on all of the IRF members if IRF uh, is configured. So in this example, I'm gonna I can do boot uh, loader file flash. So let's say we are trying to so let me just copy this because we are using that file, the that IP file. So you can just uh, use the all option uh, to uh, set the bootloader on all the IRF members, or you can specify a slot as it says here. Slot specify the slot. Or set or all set the startup software image for all the uh, IRF members or slots. So I'm gonna go with this option. So invalid file name because this is not in the directory. This file is not in the directory. So this is how you can verify the the file again. TIR. So once that, once the uh, once you have specified the bootloader, you can actually uh, verify your startup and backup software images by doing this command: boot display bootloader. So in this case, we uh, IRF is configured. So so that's why it says here, uh, software images on slot one, this is switch one, and software images on slot two. So here you can see the uh, current software images and the, the main and backup uh, startup software images 
on both uh, switches. So uh, step four, display current soft configuration. Uh, let me just do this command here. Display current configuration pipe include auto update. Uh, this is, uh, we need to verify this, that this is on the switch. Uh, this is to synchronize, as it says here, software images on the IRF members. And step five, you have to save your uh, configuration. So save force and reboot. Reboot. I'm now going to reboot it. So uh, that's how you can um, upgrade software images on HP devices. So again, you have to always really, uh, refer to the release notes of the uh, image. So yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.